Well, hello there. I'm Professor Tiddlybit, and today we're going to learn about the atoms and molecules in slime. There are four primary types of atoms in classic borax slime. Hydrogen, boron, carbon, and oxygen. When arranged in specific ways, these atoms form three molecules that are necessary for making slime. The first molecule we need is water, which is made from two hydrogen atoms bonded to one single oxygen atom. We call this molecule H2O, and there are more than a trillion billion of them in a single drop of water. Our second molecule is the main ingredient in Elmer's glue, called PVAC, or polyvinyl acetate. It has four carbon, six hydrogen, and two oxygen atoms. And it's a polymer, which means it forms long repeating chains of itself. When glue dries, these polymer chains help lock it in place. Our third molecule is really just part of the borax molecule called sodium tetraborate decahydrate. When this bigger molecule is mixed with water, it breaks down into smaller molecules called borate ions. These molecules are the secret to making slime and are made from four oxygen, four hydrogen, and one boron atom. When borate ions get close enough to PVAC molecules, they will cross-link and lock them together and create a material with new properties. Now, let's go ahead and make our slime. The first thing we need to do is thin out the glue by adding one quarter cup of glue to one quarter cup of water. This extra water will get trapped in our slime and make it squishy. We can optionally add a few drops of food coloring, but we need to mix it all together thoroughly. Next, we will need to make some borate ions. We do this by mixing one quarter teaspoon of borax into another quarter cup of water. Pour out about half of this solution into our PVAC solution and mix it together. What do you see? Hmm, it's becoming more viscous, which means it pours slower. Now, pour in the rest of the borate solution and then mix it in with your hands. Ta-da! So, what can slime do? You can stretch and tear it, and you can bounce it, but it still takes the shape of its container like a liquid. Our slime is called a non-Newtonian fluid because it has both liquid properties and solid properties. Why is this so? Well, the borate, the polyvinyl acetate, and the water molecules together make a structure that can resist small forces. But stronger forces can tear the borates away from the polymer chains only to connect again later. And you can see this when your slime appears to heal itself. <laughs> 